In this country, we have the, the best, the purest Arab thoroughbreds. By the way, it's becoming, Your Majesty, a big, uh, a big thing in the horse breeding industry. Thank you. Thank you. His Majesty, King Hassan II of Morocco, who we met this morning and was my guest at luncheon. He's a firm friend of the United States. His working visit to Washington gives us an opportunity to build on two centuries of cordial diplomatic relations between our two countries. It's a real personal privilege and pleasure to have His Majesty as our guest. King Hassan is the leader of a great nation at the crossroads of two continents lying on NATO's southern flank at the entrance to the Mediterranean. It has deep ties to Africa, Europe, the Middle East, and the whole Islamic world. We therefore discuss not only bilateral relations, but a wide range of regional and global issues. I deeply value the depth of experience and breadth of vision that His Majesty brings to the issues of profound mutual concern. His Majesty briefed me on the latest developments in his efforts to reach a peaceful settlement of the conflict in the Western Sahara, and I expressed my admiration for his support of an equal, of, a, of the OAU, Organization of African Unity, uh, referendum. We discussed opportunities for continued progress in the Middle East, 
and agreed to continue a strategic dialogue on security issues. We reviewed the progress that we've achieved in augmenting our bilateral relations. The Binational Committee for Economic Relations that Secretary Baldrich chaired last January. The Joint Military Commission that held its first meeting last month and the agreement establishing a binational commission for cultural and education exchange that Secretary Haig signed in Morocco in February. We considered other opportunities for closer cooperation between our two countries in private investment, trade, and other areas. And I expressed to His Majesty the great value the United States places on cooperation with him and on friendship with Morocco. A country that stood with us at our independence fought at our side during the Second World War and joins with us today in the quest for world peace and security. Your Majesty, we're honored to have you here and we bid you welcome. <clears throat> Mr. President, I shall try to be understood against and even my uh, very bad English but I shall try to speak the language of the heart to thank you very deeply, you and your government and your people, for your hospitality. And I can assure you that from yesterday in the afternoon, still now, I really felt that I was between very strong and loyal friends. Naturally, the nature of the problems of the United States and the nature of our problems in Morocco, they have not the same volume and uh, they are not at the same level. But the nature is the same. Our problems, like yours problems, are to live in the dignity, in the freedom, and in the way of life which our people choose for themselves, their self, and for the future. A big ocean is between United States and Morocco. But we must, each day, after each day, we must, we must try to build a bridge of solidarity, F, and understanding. We can, or you could sometime, you and I, have not the same analysis or the same position for one punctual situation in the world. That is the sign of your independence and our independence and the sign of our free exercise of our sovereignty as you are free to exercise your sovereignty. But the important is to see and to know that, that always, as before, Moroccan people and American people are ready and will be ready always to uh, fight for the same ideal and to mix their blood for the dignity of men and the freedom of the countries. Again, Mr. President, I thank you very warmly for your hospitality and I wish for your country prosperity and glory and for yourself health and success. Thank you.